This is a 65 inch QLED 4K TV from Samsung. This model is the Q60CD and is currently priced at $749. The Q60 is a 2023 model which means it has the newest technology. And this TV ranks as one of the top QLEDs in 2023 for overall price and performance. And we're gonna find out today if that's true. The Q60 is available from 32 inches all the way up to 85 inches. And we chose the 65 inch because the old bigger is better is not always true when comparing 4K TVs. And that's because all 4K TVs have the same 3840 by 2160 resolution, which means the smaller the TV, the higher the image density, also known as pixels per inch. And that means the smaller display should look better and sharper. I found the sweet spot to be between 55 and 65 inches, but that's a personal preference. And what size do you prefer? Leave your answer in the comments. So in this video, we're gonna review the Samsung Q60 features, video quality, audio quality, we'll take a look at some of the available apps, and we're gonna give you a quick tutorial on QLED technology. And we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of QLED versus OLED, because all this technology can be confusing. And this should prevent a high pressure salesman from talking into buying that AK 240 hertz OLED TV that costs just as much as that overpriced Tesla sitting in your garage. Come on, you know it's overpriced. <laughs> so first, yeah. just the facts about QLED technology. QLED, also known as quantum LED, is an advanced conventional version of the LED LCD technology. And yes, there is Neo QLED that uses many LEDs for backlighting, but that's for a different video. In LCD TVs, the LEDs function as the backlight, which transmits the image through the LCD screen. But there is a huge problem with LED LCD TVs. That backlight color and how it's rendered as an image on the LCD screen can vary widely from set to set. QLED tries to solve that problem by putting the quantum dot filter in between the LED backlight and the LCD screen. The quantum dot filter essentially purifies the color of the light coming out from the LEDs, which in turn gives a better, vivid, and more saturated color. So QLEDs have a better brightness thanks to the quantum dot filter. So what are the advantages of QLED versus OLED? Well, first QLEDs have higher brightness, which is great for open rooms with lots of windows and natural light. Also QLEDs have a more accurate and wider range of colors. And I bet you didn't know, but QLEDs have no risk of that dreaded burn-in. And lastly, QLEDs are just cheaper. So what are the disadvantages of QLED versus OLED? Well, first QLEDs suffer from inferior angles. That means watching TV from a side view not so pleasant. And second, the blacks are just not as perfect as OLED TVs. And also QLED TVs tend to be thicker than OLED TVs. But I have to admit, this QLED is very thin. So really that's not much of a disadvantage. And lastly, QLEDs tend to have a higher response time than OLEDs. So now you're a QLED expert. The Q60 includes three HDMI ports, two USB ports, one LAN port, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and is also compatible with Amazon Alexa, as well as Bixby. However, unlike the Q70 and Q80 models, you will need the remote to use voice commands. And speaking of remote, this remote is tiny and minimal. So if you're a minimalist, you're gonna love this remote. But if you like a large remote with lots of buttons, well, this remote will be a letdown. And it's pretty slick and slippery, which means you're probably gonna lose this in your sofa cushions. And the Q60 does feature two-screen multi-view. But what kind of content does Samsung offer? The Q60 features Samsung Plus TV and is preloaded with YouTube and many, many other apps, which means there's a bunch of free content. The Q60 uses the Quantum Processor 4K Lite for 4K upscaling and it does a great job. This video is stunning. Let's take a look at the Q60's brightness and evaluate the image. Pretty stunning. The current settings on this TV are filmmaker mode. And one more thing about this TV, the bezel around this TV is very thin. And I love that. And I love Bora Bora, by the way, too. That's on my bucket list. And just a heads up, the Q60 is a 60 hertz panel, which is great for the average viewer who wants to watch movies, TV shows, or sporting events. However, if you're a gamer, you may notice some screen tearing because of the 60 hertz refresh rate. The Q70 and Q80 both have 120 hertz panels, but they are more expensive. The Q60 audio is a two channel 20 watt system that's not great. But don't worry, just add a sound bar and you're all good. And wall mounting a Samsung TV is very easy. Any standard bracket will fit it. Just make sure that bracket will hold the size of your TV because different brackets hold different sizes. And this TV weighs 47 pounds, which is very lightweight. As a matter of fact, I put this TV up myself with no problems. This Samsung Q60 is a great deal for a budget-friendly QLED. It will serve most people's needs unless you're a gamer or if you're obsessed with very high-end picture quality. And if that's the case, go for the AK OLED. But otherwise, this QLED is awesome. There'll be links down below to where you can buy this TV. Once again, I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you next time. High five. Peace.